Dark World Tour did have DNF Duel, but it also had the Strivu, uh, Guilty Gear Strive. What? Strive? Uh, Guilty Gear Strive went down. We had our top eight um, with, uh, uh, you know, spoilers, you know, if you haven't watched it. Uh, sold, protagonist uh, taking the dub with Mochi, or Mochi taking Never the dub thought. with Soul. Didn't think he would. Yeah. Top three. There were times. Uh, two, yeah. two Souls in top three. With it chip rough with with Ty and dude Ty I, that I want to give Ty the medal for being I think the MVP of of the yeah. tournament like that <laughs> bro played his heart out I don't know who else I don't know what you got that's just mine that's just okay. mine like no, static who I, are you I feel like you should have won Listen, well look I agree <laughs> because the whiff punishes <laughs> of uh, disgusting off of Gobo was was it Gobo or the uh, Zando. It was Zando, that, that Ram, Zando. Ram, Ram thought, yeah. Yeah. To whip that punish so Ram the way. Yeah. Like, like, yes, deserve to be in winner's side of winner's finals and, and grand finals. Um, however, Mochi, the run that Mochi had coming back up. Mm, also not, true. Like, being down 3 2 to, um, oh, to Umi Show, right? Being down 3 2 to Umi, I, yeah. Umi Show. And I believe 3 2 to Nubenhammer? Just I don't barely. remember exactly. I think he lost to also Nubenhammer in winners, but still, the amount of the 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 play against Tempest, mm. uh, the, that the DP, DP uh, that DP was still yeah, that DP that was stuff. will live in the nightmares for quite some time. How do you Imagine. super? How do you super? And then you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna Tiger knee DP like no meter, like literally, I'm betting my life savings, I'm betting everything on this dp and it fucking hits and then we get a really bad burst and then he get, takes it back that was and, it, and that was all within the span of like five seconds all that Listen, went down nobody can react that fast but uh, uh let me stop i'm not gonna talk about the hitbox <laughs> <laughs> oh the hitbox oh my god the cheek no, box i'm kidding the, no i mean granted uh we were all wondering like what controller was he using and then we saw we're like oh snap he's using a, a snack box i believe so then i'm like yeah, we thought he was playing in my head bad. Yeah, I th we thought so too, but in my head, I was like, man, imagine, I mean, I'm not, I haven't been using hitbox at all yet, but I mean, he was getting clean DPs whenever he needed them. Oh yeah. I mean, his execution was, was there, but I'm wondering, is, is that the future, you know, but that's not the topic right now. Now the topic is just overall how it went. Like, I mean, yeah. three, uh, two souls in top three, a geo and chip. Um, and the current evil champ, you know, actually going out at, at tying, I think, to the last place in seventh, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we show and Gobu coming out last, uh, which, you know, I give props to Gobu to continue on with the Gold Lewis. I know that was definitely, there was some Zato picks there, but where it could work, it definitely went with it. Uh, but good Lord, like, I don't, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, ah, <laughs> it was disgusting. Who does so that? Good. Who the fuck? No one. Who? No one. Who goes and like, yo, I'm down. That's this is my last hit. I'm just going to, and, and excuse me, I, I mean, I, he does have meter. No, no, he doesn't. He didn't. He used meter before. You, you just like knock down Leo. You not like, I want you to, I want you to really process this. You knock down Leo literally the flash kick i'm a wake up god character with two with full bar full and bar burst. it's not even 50 and you got burst locked and locked like this dude cannot have a fatter arsenal here's, and, here's the issue and you run up hold on and you run up after a knockdown and you just say i'm just gonna tiger knee a uh, dp in your fucking face i don't care what you do literally tempest all had to, all tempest had to do was nothing tempest yeah. literally just had to and this is no shot at tempest though tempest was in a, a fucking incredible tempest play fast. i mean he, yeah tempest he like i just do not want to make it sound like i'm hating on tempest today. tempest and, and, did, played right. the heart out and did incredible and i'm super proud of what he did one for na and and one combo breaker exactly so it's not it's not like but he doesn't deserve it he deserves to be this was un this was play of the tourney like how do you just bet the farm and he's like yeah if this counter hits like he didn't get anything at first he didn't even have meter so he then woke up and got hit and in that he woke up super crazy funny. instance of like processing what the fuck just happened he got hit unfortunately a panic uh, a panic burst came out and mochi was able to capitalize on it 
Um, you know, it didn't sting as bad because he still, you know, he still had a round to lose and he still technically had a match to lose anyway. But that the right there just set, yeah, that is what set the precedence there. That was fucking insane. I, I, I normally don't <laughs> like watching Guilty Gear a lot, but I would say that was the single handedly hypest moment. I, I will say that and TY, when we first saw him just whiff punishing everything, and we like, we're like, okay, there's oh, no yeah, way yeah. T- he's going to be able to do the same thing if yeah. he switches to chip. Dude, his chip was just yeah. as good. It was just I was like, just chip for the rest of the tournament. Just got a DP now. That's that's what That was the difference there. Oh, my goodness. The, yeah. the other, I mean, obviously, the, the Tempest versus Omi Show match was phenomenal. Also, that's phenomenal, where, that's yes. where we all screamed. I yes. mean, maybe one. Somebody screamed. I don't know. Somebody screamed bloody murder. But yeah, it was still incredible. Dust. Dust made it like the the dust stock was up there. Like I think it won four to five. I think almost maybe six rounds in the entire tournament. I'm talking about just dust, like the overhead dust. Like, you know, you just got a block high. That won so many rounds for players and sometimes matches too. It was kind of insane. Uh, So yeah, it was it was an incredible top eight. If you hadn't watched it, I suggest you go watch it. Um, it was just, it was just wild. I was super happy to see it. I'm glad that people's tier list just got destroyed because happy chaos was at the bottom uh, that, you know, no, no, once again, no slight to the players. I'm just going off of the, the results, right? When we show, oh, uh, was tied out at eight. So happy chaos HC, the, the expected winner, right? Or the expected winning character, uh, in everyone's tier list was, did not make it. Soul, the protagonist, Evo that's champion. yeah. And the evil champion to boot soul ended up taking it. Uh, in two different places alongside of Giovanna and Chip. Nobody was expecting that. So, you know, just take all those tier lists and sh- sh- and just I, I, toss them bitches. You got to say, before you guys go forward, like skill was probably one of the more impressive oh, players yeah. there. Because, oh, yeah. Skill was uh, also disgusting. I, I thought I, I've watched skill before and I was like, man, I'm definitely looking out for skill. And he played completely different than Mochi Mochi. He was like kind of like this calculated and skills like oh hell no skill, man. i'm just going in i'm gonna hit every button possible yo skill did not give a fuck like wake up oh yeah i will dp He's like oh you dp me one skill that's cool it's like i'll do it again like straight up goofy like oh, I'll, I'll i'll fucking that, do it again that was like, the goofiest uh soul versus soul match though for how many oh, yeah. dps they were just throwing yeah. out there it was just who was better at it yeah yeah it's right the mirror match was nuts like so soul definitely you know it's don't don't count out the pro tag especially in this version man it was all about soul oh. Was it Ty or was was it Ty or was it Mochi who was doing all the um, uh, the IDs, the IB, uh, IVs, the inside I, Mochi. I think it was Mochi. Just, yes, yes. Bro, oh my god! Yeah, so IVs, many in one game. Skill, skill, regardless too. Like it's just at that level, yeah. it was insane to see. Oh god, the fake out super. That would, that would oh my, this fake out super actually. burst Wait, bait. That was. You, oh. you mean the instant blocking? IB. Yeah. The yeah. Instant blocking. Oh, I thought I heard him say ID. No, 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 yeah. IBs, IBs, no, 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 IBs, yeah. Insta blocks. Yeah, I almost Insta, said ID. The Insta block game, which is just you know, it's not easy to do, but man, you can see why these guys are up there because they are doing it in those situations that are just like uh, absolute value to them, an incredible return that oh, you need oh. that you just would you know, you just gotta practice that, and, and it just changes the situation, lets them play a completely different game than what we normally do or what the average player does. It was just an incredible masterclass at it. Whiff punishes everything. I, I I can go I can go on, go on for days, but it was an awesome top eight. I loved uh, loved streaming it, loved hanging out with you guys while we were watching it. It was a great great time, and to to boot it all off, man, just to finish it all off, we ended up with some announcement, right? Uh, we got a trailer for a character that we already knew was delayed uh that was nothing new but we actually got to see the character this time it's been hinted at it's been data mined and but it was no confirmation but it's not delilah it's bed man you know that that's like you can't even say delilah's fighting because she's not fighting it's it's bed man um or rather the bed from bed man the thing i need to you know go to more often at night just go to bed um but yeah man. bed man uh, yeah, so we got to finally see uh, what what Ben Man has come to do. Uh, this is a I don't want to say it's a puppet character because like Delilah doesn't do anything. It's a um, it reminds me more of what is that character from uh, Dark Stalkers? Oh my, no, no, Donovan's one, but it's the other one that with, with the robot, golden robot. It's uh, it's uh, 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 the Frankenstein one. No, no, no. it's gold. Oh, well. oh my god, why am I blanking on the name? Uh, it's Dark Stalkers. 
what's it called? Oh my god. Uh Hunt, Shanko Hunt, has a little paper. Hunt Hunt Huntsy. Man, y'all know who I'm talking yeah, about. This guy. New to me. This guy. Oh new to nobody me. ever I don't ever see anybody play him. It looks like Clay Doll. I never well, see anybody play him. Well, that this character. Oh, as soon as I find some footage of him, uh, this character does have like a like it's like it's like a human character that follows him around whenever he plays. He's like I think it's supposed. It's he's like Pyron's like robots and such. Like it's Pyron's Legion is made out of these robots. Oh god, I can't actually find a, a good luck finding a match with him. Yeah, I holy crap! I don't think any. I don't think anybody plays that character. Though, but well. but regardless, what I'm saying yeah. is like it just remind me of that because you actually get to. You, you don't you don't use the, the the human doesn't interact in any way shape or form it's all about the robot and this is very much there um for those it's coming from sad. Uh, I, think, I was hoping uh, it, it kind of seemed cool like i was thinking like a, a whole like carl and Raelius type deal okay but, i mean it's fine still either way okay i'm tripping because I, cool. I thought this i thought that was a joke i've been seeing this all day i actually didn't notice it in the trailer and i was seeing it on my feeds i didn't yeah. know her face changed at the end mm -hmm. the way we, that it when did. we first saw it i said oh that's cool that threw me off. I thought that was like I thought someone imposed May's face on that. I didn't notice that. That's yeah. real. That's yeah. what she looks like. Holy lord, that's hilarious. Um, I even said uh, in, if wanna, you watch the reaction back, if you watch the reaction back, you see me say, "Oh, well, that's cool." I did not know. I mean, I was watching a lot of other things. I thought you were talking about any of the other cool things. So uh -huh. we got we got some uh, some normals. We got to see some actual air dashes that or some command dashes from the air that isn't your typical air dash. Uh, that we've seen before but um we're missing a lot of the other pieces right like that, the biggest thing that strive has done when it comes to dlc um is that they tend to not even just dlc just all characters they've been toned down a bit like their uniqueness is a little different in this game so it's not confirmed yet but we're seeing we've only got to see a couple little specials that air dash but there's been no deja vu you know mechanic where you're reverting back uh, to what you were doing before or you know the commands to actually revert back forward or, or save state yeah, basically broken. i Maybe think it's like it, broken I, in the like in the system yeah it doesn't work anymore that's that's probably how they're going to try to explain that because other, other than that it, like there's no reason why it wouldn't happen uh but we also didn't get any kind of ground parries or anything that was also that and there's also a mechanic Bedman had, but we got we had to see some projectiles, some interesting projectiles, and it seems like some interesting particle effects, maybe symbolizing certain states, uh, such as like so, like a, a charge state or something like that. We got to see, uh, you know, Kai try to fireball war, and uh, yeah, it was it was it looks like he was winning, um, but we really and then and the, yeah, the bomb as well was the other thing, but we're not seeing a whole lot of other things. Hard. Like hard to block because you can't really tell. It's like kind of reminds me of like Tink from BB Tag. You don't really know if they're hitting low or high, but this is a lot more animations. Tink had like no animation for like hitting high. Right? <laughs> uh, the, yeah. This, but this looks really cool. I think this is gonna be a really interesting. Maybe it'll make Guilty Gear look even more appealing because something so awkward like they usually do, right? Mm. It's outside of their normal realm, and I think that's what kind of always appealed to people. Yeah, so it's gonna be fun. Uh, new, I uh, knew. Yes, a new uh, stage going, coming with it. Fairy's uh, forest factory. It's where they make potions and such. Uh, but we will be actually getting Bedman uh, on the sixth of April, right around the corner. It's about two weeks out, and then we have one more character for the season two pass uh, slated for May. So we have, you know, we have back to back uh, with an additional uh, stage. I believe that's what it's saying there. Uh, so we have back to back characters that we're going to be getting. And of course, the final announcement that they put out there, which I don't know if they're saying it here. Uh, actually, they didn't say it in here, but they did verbally say it on the mic. Um, actually, excuse me. Sorry. Two announcements. One is season three is already in development. So we're expecting even more characters to come out, whether Slayer doesn't show up or it's not Dizzy or Robokai or... Um, really venom anybody else there's gonna be another season pass that we can all get our uh get our uh hopes up for and then be dashed with when they don't show up but the end of the trailer was the uh other piece actually uh, they didn't show it in this uh traditional trailer actually uh i have to see if i can find that the trailer did show another component which we got to see uh a book or the i don't know what the book was called in the story i know they said it in the story i just can't remember uh, with a hand coming out of the darkness, if you've recognized the hand, the glove, and the and the book, you know that is uh, Asuka or that man from the story. Uh, never been playable in a, in a in a Guilty Gear game. This will be the first time. Uh, it was called out. I forget who, which one of our viewers. Uh, it was live with us on Twitch. Super stoked. Uh, actually, I think it was Valentine. Yeah, I think it was like uh, I can't remember the the initial. I mean, it's like 
uh, uh, Arkea Valentine, there we go, on Twitch, shout out to you, homie, was already calling for Asuka and uh, got, got their wish. It's the Tome of Origin. The Tome oh, of Origin, I, thank I, you. I totally thank messed you. up my mic. Tome, Tome, of origin, Tome of Origin, yeah, we got to see that kind of spin like a like a fidget spinner, and his hand was there, so we know more than likely that's the character. They were being vague about it, but I'm assuming they just didn't want to confirm anything. They're like, oh, can't tell you about it, but this is what we know. This is who we we know. A little treat here for you guys. Um, I'm stoked because the brother had insane kicks. Uh, his his shoe game was on point. Was better, I think, than anyone else's in the game. And I'm just stoked to see a kind of a magic wielder, which they could, you know, I know Mezzi, you've been waiting to kind of get dizzy in the game. There's no reason why, you know, Batman or Asuka couldn't play similarly, a lot more range, throwing a lot of things out in the, uh, in the field, a lot more beams, magic or dust to throw out to kind of, you know, kind of just keep the pressure on without actually being a very physical character. Uh, could, could inherently be that. So for you dizzy mains out there, there's, there's hope somewhat something maybe. something it's something it's something it's the closest thing you get listen it's better than nothing better than nothing True. but overall i think uh oh and arc world tour 2023 was announced too so you know the the support is continuing the game is thriving um you gotta just push as all i gotta say to arcs is yo push as much shit as you can out there the because time. street fighter 6 is coming and bro it is going to be a slaughter uh, not to say your game's gonna get, you know, is gonna die, but bro, there's gonna be some bleeding, and that goes to everybody, really. That goes to everyone. Put your shit out now, because this this tidal wave is coming, and then once it's out there, y'all gotta sit in the sidelines and just deal with it. Uh, but if you come out with some awesome, you know, content, you know, strive. I don't think it's really gonna go anywhere. It's it's done. It's it's done its duty for those a uh, couple years now, and uh, it doesn't seem like they want to slow up on it. So. We'll see what goes down. AW, uh, AWT 2023 has been announced. Can't wait for that. Uh, and like I said, this year, I think it was a great way to wrap it up. It was hype, incredible matches, some awesome releases, announcements, some communication, right? Meza is what we wanted, some communication at least. Give more, us something. So. Give us more, but and, you know what? At least this is the start. Yeah, I mean, I'm never going to complain about, you know, good like good content coming out i always complain when there's no clarification on what the what the full plan is and i think everybody's trying to get there so i'm not going to be mad about it anymore it is what it is look people keep playing their games keep enjoying what you enjoy that's all you can really do right and if exactly. not just keep your community intact at least exactly just play with the homies fuck them fuck